I'm going to have to make a very big apology to my noble friend, uh, the noble Lord Sassoon, because I'm about to raise a subject which I shouldn't raise, which is going to be one which I think is now time to put on a higher awareness and to explain to the House as a whole, as I don't think they have any knowledge. And I'm sorry the noble Lord Stroth Clyde is not with us at the moment, because this deeply concerns him also. But for the last 20 weeks, since yesterday afternoon, I have engaged in, been engaged in a very strange dialogue with the two noble lords, in the course of which I've been trying to bring to their attention the willing availability of a strange organization which wish, wishes to make a great deal of money available to assist the recovery of the economy in this country. For want of a better description of their name, I'll call them Foundation X. It's not their real name, but it'll do for the moment. Foundation X was introduced to me 20 weeks ago last week by a very eminent uh, city firm, FSA controlled, by its chairman who came to me and its chairman said, we have this extraordinary uh, request to assist in doing this major financial reconstruction, it's mega bucks, but we need your help to assist us in understanding whether this business is legitimate. Uh, I had the biggest put down of my life from the noble Lord Strathclyde when I told him this story first of all. He said, why you? You're not important enough to have the answer to a question like that. And he's quite right. Um, my noble Lord, I'm not important enough. But the answer to the next question was, you haven't got the experience for it. Yes, I do. I have had one of the biggest experiences in the laundry of terrorist money and of funny money that anybody's had in the city. I've handled billions of terrorist money. Not into my pocket. <laughs> uh, it, the, biggest, the biggest terrorist client I had was the IRA, and I'm pleased to say that I managed to write off more than a billion pounds of their money. Uh, I've also had extensive connections with North African terrorists, but that's of a far nastier nature, and I don't want to talk about that because that's still a security issue. Um, I would also hasten to add, it's no use getting the police in for me because I shall immediately call the Bank of England as my defence witness as they put me in to deal with these problems. So the point is that I was, in the course of doing this very strange activity, I got a very interesting set of phone numbers and references which I could go to for help when I needed it. And so people in the city have known that if they want to check out anything that looks at all odd, they can come to me and I can press a few phone numbers and get a reference. And so they came to me and asked me whether I would get them a reference and a clearance on Foundation X. And for 20 weeks I've been endeavouring to do so. I myself have come to the absolute conclusion that they are completely genuine and sincere and that they are quite directly wishing to make the United Kingdom one of the principal points for which they will use to disseminate their extraordinary great wealth into the world at this present moment as part of an attempt to seek the economic recovery of the global economy. And so I made the phone call to my noble friend Lord Strathclyde on a Sunday afternoon, I think he was sitting on his lawn, poor man, and um, he did the quickest ball pass I've ever seen. If England can do anything like it at Twickenham on such Saturday, we have a chance against the All Blacks. And the next thing I knew, I'd got the noble Lord Sassoon on the phone instead. <laughs> and he, from the outset, took a quite right a proper defensive attitude of total scepticism and said, this is, possibly can't be right. In the course of the following weeks, I had, first of all, the noble Lord Sassoon said, go and talk to the Bank of England. So I phoned the governor of the Bank of England and said, could he please check this out for me? And he came back after about three days and said, you can get lost. I'm not touching this with a barge pole. It's far too difficult. Take it back to the Treasury. So I did. And within another day, the noble Lord Sassoon had come back and said, this is rubbish. It can't possibly be right. So I said, well, I'm going to work more on it. And then I had a meeting with the noble Lord Strathclyde. And I actually bought one of the senior executives of Foundation X to meet Lord Strathclyde. I have to say that as first dates go, it was not a great success. They, neither of them ended up by inviting the other one up for a coffee or a, a drink at the end of the, end, end of the evening, and they didn't uh, exchange telephone numbers in order to be able to follow up the call. In fact, I found myself in a, in a, between a rock and a hard place, represented by both a rock and a hard place, which were totally paranoid about each other. 
because the Foundation X people have got an amazing obsession with their own security. Uh, they are...